Guys, what are, you, what are you doing? You're ruining your style. But no worries, TMF is here to help you out. Today I'm gonna go over five common things that instantly ruin your style and most guys do on a daily basis. The first thing that I see all the time, guys wearing white socks with all their outfits. It's such a common style, you can literally even buy these at a grocery store, which should tell you just how stylish or unstylish these things are. The stylish alternative today is to go for some color. As long as you don't go overboard with the prints and the bold colors, you can have a little bit of fun with your socks for an overall better outfit. The second mistake that is destroying your outfits is not knowing how to properly match your clothes. From prints to patterns to colors, when you start mixing a bunch of variables into your outfit, the more complicated it gets and the harder it gets for you to actually build stylish outfits. So here are two simple rules. When it comes to patterns and prints, make sure the prints vary in size. This is to avoid a big optical illusion and an eyesore for anybody that sees you. So for example, say you want to mix a striped shirt with a striped tie. Make sure the stripes on the tie are thicker than the stripes on the shirt or vice versa. As for colors, this can get very complex and I could probably do a whole video on that in and of itself. But here are three simple dumbed down rules that you should always follow when you're mixing colors. One, keep it in the family to play it safe. Which means earth tones go with earth tones, neutrals go with neutrals, pastels go with pastels. Anytime you mix within those, chances are your outfit's gonna look good. Number two, you can always wear shades of the same color to pull off monochromatic looks as long as they're not the exact same color. And finally, number three, complementary colors will always look great. Essentially, these are the ones that are opposite to each other on the color wheel. You stick to those basic rules and you'll be matching outfits like a pro. Number three, wearing tacky belts. I see this all the time. Guys flexing with their 500 or counterfeit Ferragamo, Hermes, Gucci, Louis Vuitton belts. And you've heard me say it and I'll say it again. I personally believe that in this region, you should keep it minimal. Something like this, like our sponsor from Anson Belt. Think about it. A belt literally cuts your body in half, creating a visual roadblock on your overall image. This shortens your body image and makes you look overall shorter. This is no bueno if you're a short guy. This effect is then multiplied when you put a huge logo in your growing area, not to mention it brings in all the attention there and takes away from your overall outfit. That's why I always opt for belts that are minimal and you can then save that cash for other items that will create a bigger impact on your wardrobe. If you guys want to try something out of this world but still falls into that minimal style, give ants and belts a try. These guys, will ch once you try ants and belts, you'll never go back. They are just so simple to put on and off. It took me half a second to take this belt off. All because they have a track system. Unlike regular belts that uses holes, what ants and belts has that's different is that they have a micro adjustable track system in the back. This allows you to adjust your belts by quarter inches and put on and off with ease. This is probably my daily belt, which as you can see has a lot of wear on it already. After I started using this, honestly, I don't even use my other belts anymore just because of how efficient and fast it is to put on and off this belt. And the best part is that Anson belts is super affordable. The great thing is that everything is interchangeable. So I have a series of buckles and a series of belt straps and I can interchange within straps. They have an amazing deal where you can get either two buckles or three straps or three buckles or two straps which basically gives you six different belt combinations. Meaning that with even that basic package you are covered for all the belts you're going to need to make sure you have stylish outfits and aren't ruining them. If you guys want to check them out, like I said, there's going to be a link down below. Go ahead, give them a try. I'm telling you, once you try Anson, you're never going to go back to regular. The fourth thing that's ruining your style is that your gig line is all out of whack. See, the gig line is an imaginary line that basically runs from your neck all the way down to your groin area. Everything should line up to it, which basically means your shirt placket, your belt buckle, and your zipper should all line up in a straight line. If they're out of whack, it's ruining your style. Again, this is one of those free tips that really only requires a little bit of effort on your end, but has significant impacts on your overall style. And finally, the fifth thing that I see daily ruining your style is letting your pants sag. And I think this is an epidemic for every young generation. It's kind of like the cool thing to do. A good example is my last makeover I did on my friend CJ. All right, put that in your waist. Bro, this is like, it's so hot. That's how you're supposed to wear pants. <laughs> I mean, I don't need anything. I don't think you even need tailoring now. So we were going to tailor it, but I mean, it, it was because he was wearing it kind of low. But when you put the pant at, at your natural hip, the pants fit perfectly. For him, no tailoring. As soon as we brought his pants up to his natural waistline, the pants fit perfectly. You no longer get that diaper pouch sag on the rear end. 
and your pants won't crumble at the bottom. Those are the two things that ruin your style when you end up sagging your pants. All right, boys, so that's it for this week's video. Those are five things that are instantly ruining your style on the daily. If you guys like this video and found it informative, don't forget to drop us a like down below. Also, don't forget to check out our sponsor, Ants and Belts. They're going to be linked down below. That's it for me today. See you next time.